Hello everybody, Andy here, and today I want to be excited by the recent World Championships preview streams and talk about that. But I've got a Kill Team channel, another 40k channel, and all the cool stuff released for 40k. So, every release is a Kill Team release, let me tell you how. Basically, um, look, I'm an Eldar simp, I apologise, I like elves. There you go. Sue me. Let's see how we can get the new elves into Kill Team, okay? Now, the obvious answer would of course be Blades of Cain, hence why I had Blades of Cain on screen here. I'm just having a quick look at their rules. Uh, you might quickly be thinking, what's that website, Andy? Good question. If you want all of the rules for Kill Team, which are of course free now, thanks to the Kill Team app, and you can use that, but I personally find Battle Kit a slightly more user-friendly way, and it loads really fast, it's really cool, and it can also act as a score tracker. Uh, Battle Kit, there you go, go check that out, it's just online, it's, yeah, there you go, just Google Battle Kit 3, nice, uh, go check that out, right, anyway, quickly we're going to move on to the cool stuff I saw, and we're going to talk about how we can get these models into Kill Team, because ultimately I love Eldar, but of course before we get to that, I would like to give a subscriber-only benefit, and that subscriber-only benefit is a big double hello, wow. Thank you. Now I know what you're wondering. What is a double hello? Well, it's a pleasantry that's given to you twice. Why would you want two pleasantries? Why wouldn't you? If you want that in the next video, like, subscribe, leave a comment right now. For this one, the comment could be, help me, please. No, don't, don't type help me. Sorry, what I mean is, can you please help me and give me your ideas? So I had a quick think about what all of these new aspect warriors could be. And let me know firstly, do you think I'm, I'm reaching a bit. Would you play me if I said, hey, my swooping hawks are now X? Or, you know, do you have better ideas? Okay, so first up, very quickly, sorry, just so I can be excited. We have fire dragons. Oh, so if you didn't see it, sorry. Um, the Eldar got th seven new box releases announced. Um, they're getting each of the new aspect warriors which are the fire dragons, the swooping hawks, and the warp spiders, that's the word, um, all releasing, plus their phoenix lords, which are things, they're characters, they're like chapter masters, don't worry about it, uh, plus an additional one, who I can't remember the name of, he looked a bit dull. If I'm honest, everybody else looked banging, he looked a bit cringe. There you go, is it Prince Yeriel? No, I don't think so. We get there. Uh, very quickly to look at those, here you go. These are the fire dragons. Fire dragons, in case you don't know, are anti-tank guys. All of their weapons have melter. That huge long pole that we all love, of course, is um, to kill tanks. There you go. This guy, who is he? Oh, he no, he's not Fuegan. Who is this guy? Oh, he's a sermon. Obviously, he is the Dire Avengers um, guy, basically. Uh, is he actually the Phoenix Lord of Dire Avengers, or is he just a dude? I don't know. But he is the Dire Avenger guy, basically. There you go. Um, this is Baharoth, who is the Swooping Hawks Phoenix Lord. There you go. I'm really having to dredge up my memory here. These are the Swooping Hawks. This is, I can't remember this one's name. Who is it? Lycus. Now, uh, drop a, drop a, old, old heads. Old heads in the chat. Um, has this character, I know this character has never had a model before. But has it actually been mentioned in lore before and we just never got a model? Or is this a new invention? In my head, I kind of thought that the um, the warp spiders didn't actually have one. I will get on the phone to my friend Wes soon and he will tell me the background, but I haven't got him yet. Anyway, and then we get uh, the warp spiders themselves and then of course the Eldari Codex. Sounds cool. All right. Let's go. Cool. That's those are the releases. Now, how can we get these cool AF models into Kill Team? So, first things first would be the simple one. You Blades of Cain. Blades of Cain are the Aspect Warrior team. Okay. Everything that just released are Aspect Warriors. Logically, we can just proxy stuff. So. If we were to do this, I'm not saying, I don't think this is actually the best option, if I'm honest. So I would probably say your uh, guys here, what are they called? 
fire dragons. This is going to be a long one, Jesus. Um, they would be your Dire Avengers, because that's quite an, easy, quite an easy proxy. Dire Avengers are the only models with guns. Um, fire dragons have guns. Nice. Easy. Easy one. Cool. We then go down to uh, the Howling Banshees. I would say that the Howling Banshees are going to be your Swooping Hawks. Now, yeah, uh, you can't see it on the battle kit here, but the Howling Banshees are generally in a similar pose. They're all jumping off of rocks, so that works. But of course, the Howling, the, uh, the Dire Avengers here, well, they've got big wings. So, I'm just going to say it, just be sensible and say, hey, my wings don't count as part of my model. And then, yeah, you're probably still a little bit higher than you should be, but really not much. And it's kind of okay because as the person doing the proxy, of course, as we've talked about in other videos, you want to proxy for disadvantage, not proxy for advantage. And you don't have guns as Dire Avengers. You vote, you're only really melee and like a crappy pistol. So you're always looking for melee. So you don't care that you get extra visibility, but if the enemy can see you, they can shoot you. Nobody should have a problem with that. Just say, don't shoot my wings, easy. Uh, and then we get down to uh, our warp spiders here, which I guess there's only one thing left they can be, which is the striking scorpions. Um, sure, there's no, you know, I don't know, the, the crab armor shell on the back is kind of like the slightly heavier striking scorpion armor, except the striking scorpion armor is only four up when it should be three, but let's not get into it. Whatever. It's balance, not law. Okay, fine. Cool. Um, so there you go. If you want to just play it kind of safe, do that. However, I'm going to work my way back up because I think I had a really... Uh, well, let, let, so, yeah, right. Let's say you want something a little bit more thematic and you don't just want to swap Eldar for Eldar, you want to play them the way they should be played. So I think, you look at these new models, you're thinking, wow, these guys are awesome. What can you play them as? What team best exemplify, exemplifies Warp Spiders? Luckily, this is a, a super easy one. Um, you need melee, you need uh, ranged weapons, and you need a flicker jump. One team has all of that, Mandrakes. This is an easy one, and the best part of it is that nobody can tell the base Mandrake models apart anyway. They're all the same model, so it doesn't matter that, so, that all of these are the same model too. You don't even have to convert anything, just say, yeah, there you go, it's fine. Amazing. But you might be thinking, okay, well, you know, like one, you know. This, this would be an easy conversion to do, um, very simple and Nobody could say no to that. I'm thinking of doing this. I think the new, I want these guys, they look awesome. I also like the Mandrakes to be fair, um, but if I got these guys, I would be running them as Mandrakes. Quick note about proxies, just in case you're not aware, one of the big things that you do need to keep in mind, look, we can talk all day about silhouettes and, you know, um, visibility and how big a model is and, and like eye height lines and sight lines etc but you do have I, I hate to use the word have but it's very very good practice to use the correct base size I'm super liberal when it comes to proxying I think the more proxies the better um, you should be playing the models you think are cool that's more important than anything else however even I as that guy that would say, yeah, take anything, even to a tournament, yeah, that's great. I would still say base size. You've gotta have the right base size. These look 32s to me. Mandrakes are 28s. Just keep that in mind. I'm not gonna say it again, there's no point saying it every time, but if the Aspect Warriors are on 32s, you need to swap them to 28s, which would be a shame. I'm just saying they look like they're on 32s. But do keep in mind that all of the other Aspect Warriors so far are on 28, so maybe it's just, I'm not seeing something, I don't know. Cool. Right, next up we get uh, the most awkward one to try and figure out, the Swooping Hawks. So what are the Swooping Hawks like? 
They're flyers. Do we have any flyers in the game is the first question. Uh, we're done with Blades of Cain. We're done with Mandrakes. Void Dancers. So as we know, Void Dancers no longer actually have fly. Or, well, they never had fly, sorry, they had flip belts. What do they have now? Do they even have flip belts now? No, why have I put them here? Okay, so ignore that. It's not these guys, I guess. Instead, what I meant to say was, do they not have flip belts anymore? Oh, Jesus, all right, okay, fine. Luckily, they were my actual answer. Um, you could go with them purely from a, again, like a, a base size, uh, like hut size perspective. All of the official Harlequin models are stood on rocks jumping around. So are these guys, cool. However, I would actually recommend the flying team. That's right, we just got a team that flies, the Vespids. Now, again, the reason I actually went with Vespids originally is because they fly and you guys fly. Cool. Uh, but also, uh, if you look at some of the Vespids, they're on 28s, by the way. These are, they sh if these are Aspect Warriors, they're also on 28s, but we don't know. Um, they have crazy wingspans in certain areas, and so will these guys. There you go. So you're kind of covered on like the silhouette profile kind of size, and they might both be on 28s. There you go. Yeah, that's about all I have for that one. You get an oversight drone here. With, the, uh, with these guys, you even get a little statue. There you go. That's your oversight drone. Look, Kayla Mentra Kane is watching over you. Nice. Uh, cool, so there you go. That is what I think is probably your best bet, the vest bid. Now, I will say, actually, if you really wanted, you could probably just run these guys as Mandrakes again and say that your Shadow Passage ability uh, is, is just that. Yeah, Shadow Passage is your flight. Like, that's not the craziest thing to do. Cool. Uh, right, but then I think that the vest bid probably fit them better, to be honest with you. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Then we get to the fire dragons. Now the fire dragons I actually had the biggest question on because there isn't anything in Kill Team whose theme is we blow up tanks. But that is what fire dragons do. So I was like, well, what do we do? So what they're supposed to be is kind of melter, which is tanks and shooting. They're an all shooting team, okay? Who has the best shooting in the game? Well, I don't know. So I have an answer, which we'll get to in a moment. You could argue it should probably technically be Pathfinders, um, but I, I think that's kind of me, much like I did with the Void Dancers just there, me thinking about the past a little bit there. And Void Dancers have, uh, sorry, Pathfinders have never been Good at hitting, whereas Elder are meant to be good at hitting. Tower a bit more, we have a lot of shots, and they're high damage but low quality, so, or you know, low accuracy, whatever. That's kind of not really what, what Eldar are, which is a bit weird, but fine. So, moving on, uh, I think that the best bet is Phobos. So Phobos are probably our best shooting team out there uh, that people are currently aware of. This is partly due to the current natural strength of five model teams. And they are outperforming way, they're performing way better than I would have thought they would at current world championships. So despite me immediately thinking they're not good enough to, to, rep, to rep the Eldar, maybe they are, maybe they are, right? But anyway, um, I think that's probably your best bet which it doesn't quite feel right, but like this big dude here, that's clearly a, uh, your marksman. You've got this guy who's actually your leader, but that's a reaver, right? Uh, and then everybody else is just a, a guy with a gun. Um, so you're gonna have to work a little bit to really convert them up. But if you're liking the team, then you know, you're doing this for fun so that they look cool and yeah. There you go. Those are my answers. Those are my answers. I reckon you could be running these three new Aspect Warrior teams as either Blades of Cain, 
where you're able to take all three of the aspects and put them into one team, much like the Blades of Cain team already is, just using different aspect warriors. Um, or you could smash them out as, what did I say, Mandrakes, as a potential for two of them, um, Vespids for the Swooping Hawks, and Phobos for the Fire Dragons. There you go. Uh, will I be doing this? You know what? I really do like Eldar. I hate to, I hate to say it, but I really do like Eldar. Um, whenever these drop, I might have to pick them up. Uh, will I actually end up putting them in Kill Team, put them on the table? I don't know. But there you go. So, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think I'm out of line? Also, keep it, you know, I know that a lot of people out there aren't perhaps graced with as such graceful opponents as I get. Uh, in that they will let me run pretty much anything. Um, I know that some scenes out there are a lot more locked down, but you know, hey, let your mind run free. Let me know what you think. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, I'd like to give you a big triple hello. Hey, while you're there, um, what, what other previews did you think were cool? Um, I quite like, so I don't like 30K at all. I think it's really bad, as you know, uh, but, I do like it when they release plastic tanks for 30k because those look great as proxies over in uh, Astro Militarum, which are of course a faction I think are called the Krieg. I feel like they look cool, but they look like Krieg. Like they look exactly as I thought they would, which is fine. The, the actual standouts for the show, aside from the Eldar, obviously, was the wolf riding Gits. They were really cool. I actually really liked, might pick him up, um, the, the leader wolf, where the guy, the wolf is stood on just like two rocks. Uh, but I think the wolf is a total mismatch. Like, the wolf is awesome. And then the little grot on the back, eh, I don't know, eh, meh. Bit of a mismatch there, so I reckon the space wolf players are going to be eating well. They're going to be fine dining on those sculpts there. Cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow for day two of Warhammer World's Championships update.